What's going on guys? Linus here. Welcome to uh, another game, which I've never played before. Stronghold Crusader 2. It's uh, it's not out quite yet. It's coming out in a couple of days, uh, but I got to play it a little bit early, which is sweet. And uh, yeah, I've never played a Stronghold game, nor the, the first Stronghold Crusader. I've never played any game in this series, so this will most likely be a, a real travesty. It's gonna be It's gonna be terrible. Um, so I'm gonna call this a let's play because it's it's technically let's play It's just I don't know how long this series will be and that really depends on what I think of the game what you guys think of the game um, I haven't played it yet, so I have no idea what to expect um, But I'm pretty excited because I hear a lot of good things about the whole stronghold series um, So yeah looking forward to it. Let me know what you think about the game as well because I have no idea I honestly I have no experience with the Crusader series, so, or the Stronghold series, so I don't know how popular it is, or what people think of it, so let me know, that'd be, that'd be really nice. And, uh, yeah, we'll see. Oh boy, alright, so, let's just a single player, we got a tutorial, learning campaigns, skirmish trails, custom skirmish sandbox, alright, so I'll start with a tutorial. Learn how to build and manage your castle in the desert from your trusty advisor and confident, the scribe. All right, that sounds sweet. Seeing as I have no Very idea what's wise, going on. My lord. Here, you will learn how to master your desert castle. Wait, this is my castle? It's, it's very small. All right. To scroll around the map, push the mouse pointer to the... Nice, my liege. It's very too nice. early for him. The mouse wheel zooms the map, and good. <laughs> he doesn't even get to finish his sentences. Your stockpile holds the resources you need to build other buildings. Left-click on the stockpile icon... Then find a flat, empty piece of desert, and left-click again to place it. Alright, so far I'm following it. So do we want to attach this to the castle, or what? what's up? I don't even know. Alright, let's put it right there. Wood has been transferred from your starting goods into your stockpile, and is now available to use in construction. Placing other storage buildings will later bring down other starting goods. All right, I don't really know where to look. Where am I going to find my wood? Let's see, I don't know what any of this is, really. Oh, wait. Housing used, housing available, amount of gold. It's probably... What is this? Like, go goods used or something? I I have no idea. Anyway, let's continue. For the castle to really take off, we will need peasants, sire. At the moment, we are unpopular, and the peasants' instincts are to leave our castle. Click on the popularity area, and we will remedy the situation. Popularity area, all right. Look at that. Ah, that tax rate isn't helping us, sire. Reduce the tax rate to no taxes. That will bring the peasants back. Good work, my lord. There you go, no we taxes. Are now in positive popularity. That means peasants will come to our castle. The higher our popularity, the faster they will come. However, should we ever become unpopular again, they will leave. Peasants are very fickle in my experience, sire. All right, so these are peasants, I'm guessing. These little guys walking around, all right. We can further increase our popularity, sire, if we were to actually feed our peasants. Click now, left that click. That seems on like a good idea. Let's feed them. Then left click again to place it. Over by the oasis would be a good spot, my lord. We have an oasis? What are you talking about? Oh, look at that. Okay. See, I'm not used to this kind of stuff, because usually when I build things, I start building everything right next to each other. But, all right, over by the oasis. Can I... Ah, oh, here we go. I'm going to build it right there. Excellent. The granary has now received its starting goods. Now we can really encourage our peasants by setting a generous ration level. Set the ration level on the popularity controls to normal, sire. I'm guessing that's the food. Yep, it is. There you go. Splendid. Now we have some workers around the campfire, just waiting for orders. Let's give them some. Click on the industry buildings icon. Industry buildings. Now, click on the woodcutter's camp and build two wood camps near the palm trees. When you are finished, you can right click to stop placing buildings. All right, I can do this. Uh, all right, so we got a bunch of trees right there. So I'm gonna put one there and another one can go over there. Good. Ah, notice how the idle peasants have automatically become woodsmen. This is a good thing, sire, as there is usually a lot of wood needed in the construction of a village. All right, so we're making villages then. 
Not a lot of stuff around, is there? Just a bunch of rocks, cacti, and an oasis, which is like the only good thing. Alright, continue. What is this, by the way? This looks like a witch's cauldron. Hmm. There is a problem just around the corner, sire. Left click on the granary you built earlier to open its information panel. The right. trouble with feeding our peasants, sire, is that our food stocks are dwindling. We could reduce our ration level, or buy some more apples, but I suggest we start apple production at the castle. Okay, yeah, sure. In order to access the build menu, however, we must first close yep, the... Yep, I, I got it. Now, let's get our apple farms up and running. Click on the food buildings icon and place three apple farms on the green grass of the oasis. All farms need to be placed on fertile land, my liege, and you will find the control of these valuable areas is important here in the desert. All right, so let's see. We got some here. I like it like that. All right, let's put it right here. That's one. Uh, let's make that two. Let's put these two right next to each other. It's going to look real nice. There we go. All right, apple well farms done, got those. Sir. Our granary will soon fill with apples. However, one of our apple farms lies idle. This is because we have used up all our available peasants. And although we are popular, peasants will not come as there is no more room. This keep gives us bed space for eight people. If we want more peasants, we will need to build a hovel. All right. I can, I can do that. Click on the buildings icon and place a hovel. Notice how the extra bed space changes the further you move the hovel from the keep. Peasants do like to live close to you, sire. Ah, uh, that makes sense. All right. This is... Yep, this is as far as I can go. Oh, it actually changes the model of the thing. That's cool. That is really cool. All right, let's put this one right next to this apothecary. There we go. Magnificent! And now people Genius, can live there. Please. You have solved the population issue. Of course, with more peasants, our apple supply will decrease more quickly. But let's not worry about that now. We have one final lesson to learn. All right. Click on the military buildings icon and place a barracks, sire. We are going to arm some of the peasants. Barracks. Does it matter where I put it or... I guess not. All right, let's put you right... In the back. There you go. That's going to look nice, great. My liege. Very nice. Now, left click on the barracks, sire, to open its interface. With no weapons made, we can only arm our peasants with simple farm implements. Click and create five armed conscripts now, sire. All right. One, two, three, four, five. Outstanding. Just in time, sire. It appears that a ferocious a lion has been sighted near the village. This is having a poor effect on our castle's popularity. My lord. All right. At least I figured out how to select him. That's good. Let's kill that lion. Splendid work. I already selected them before now, he gave right me the... Okay. The map to move your selected troops to the highlighted area, sire. Go, peasants. Kill me some lions. Look at those magnificent peasants. What kind of weapon is that anyway? It's like a little club. All right, here we go. Is the lion just sleeping? I'm just gonna murder it. Good. Now our men are in range. Right click on the lion to order out men to attack him, my lord. All right, kill it. Kill it, fellas. The dirty lion. Look at that, it's got 15 something. Oh, my popularity's down because there's a lion around. Oh god, he just killed two of the, one of well the peasants. Well done, sire. I can see you are a natural leader of men. Well, sire, I think my work here is done and the tutorial over. Would you like to continue here for a little while longer? No, that's okay. Look at this gesture, though. Altair Thornley. So they have names. Peasant, waiting for a job. Anthony Primate. Bob Chiselwork. All right, Philip Vanhill, Matt Rotherbeast, Barry Ramsbottom. <laughs> okay, yeah, let's let's go. So we completed the tutorial. Tutorial. Uh, that was actually a lot shorter than I thought. 
All right, so now we got learning campaigns, which I imagine teach you actual stuff about the game. We got Lineheart Preparations. Did I just do that one, or... Why is the number two circled? Ambush, Blacksmiths, and Bows, Treachery. I don't understand this. All right, let's click the arrow. With more of the army now arriving every day. The beach site has become too crowded. No, wait. I have to do the first one, I think. Arrival. Here we go. I'm just going to start with preparations. Um, and just with the first one, I guess. It just That seems like a normal thing to do. So I'll, I'll start off with this. Following a long sea voyage, you will be the first ashore in this strange new land. Take a landing party and prepare for the main force's arrival by clearing the area of the ruins of the old fishing village and collecting some supplies. All right, win, collect 100 apples, destroy some ruins, and collect 150 wood. I'll just play on normal. Collect this hint to reveal it. I don't feel like I need one of those now. All right, let's try collecting some apples, and I just hope I can actually see those this conditions. This is a strange land indeed, sire. Not like the green hills of home, that's for sure. All right, so oh, this is actually kind of the same area that we started in. Yeah, it is. No oasis, though. Although it does look very similar. All right, what's this? Wind collect 100 apples. Collect. We already have 50 Sire, wood. We should make room on the oasis for our apple farms by clearing away some trees with our woodcutters. All right. How do we do that? Nice day, Your Highness. Waiting for a job. I imagine Sire, I can place some woodcutters close to the oasis. They will always chop down the closest tree they find. That you know that makes sense. All right, wood camp. Putting that right there or over here. Yeah, that's probably better. All right, here we go. It's a granary. At least everybody's happy. I guess that's a good thing. Is he gonna build it or? Is there really only a place for one woodcutter? I let's see. Let's make a second one over here. My liege, we need to clear away the ruins. Select those idle troops and right-click on the ruins you want them to remove. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> hostile ruins. You're gonna want to get rid of those hostile ruins before they attack us. So what's this? There's like a pile of stuff over there. No idea what that is. Whoa, they just blew that up. It's a slaughter. All right, keep it going. He's collecting wood, I think. Although he might have to maybe bring it over to the uh, the wood pile. Why was he yelling like that? What was that? All right. He might have to just bring it over to the stockpile. Come on, boys. Come on, boys. Oh, here he goes. Yeah, there he goes. And then it's probably going to count towards my actual... Wood. <laughs> Why is he yelling like that? Oh, that's amazing. This place seems uninhabited. I think we'll be safe for a while, sire. It's a slaughter. Well, I hope we'll be safe for a while. That'd be, that'd be nice. Maybe I should just split them up. Hey ho. Oh yes. Bit early for this, isn't it? Save some time. All right. So, how do I get rid of? Oh, okay, I like that. All right, so let's get an apple orchard going. They told me to put it on the grass, so... We don't have a lot of grass around here. Our scouts have sighted hidden supply caches out in the desert. We should send some troops out to dig them up. Come on, boys! Stay All right, just gotta get rid of the hostile ruins. Now we can get the, uh... The stuff that you were talking about. I have no idea what it is, though. Out in the desert... Oh, but it's just that kind of stuff. Morning, boss. I have to check this out. And we have some horses. Supply cache. Peasants are reporting devilish winds, my liege. They destroy all before them. Sire, we have uncovered a cache of resources. All right. Nice day, your Highness. Oh God. Ooh, a command. That's not good. It's going straight for the castle. Oh, get out of there, buddy. My lord. It's gonna get you. It's and gonna get you. Horses. No, not the no, not the wood cam. Oh god, there goes my woodcutter. 
Yep, that guy's dead. Right oh. Just just get out of there. On your feet, boys. Cause you're gonna die. Alright. Let's send someone all the way over there. Ooh, a command. Pick up that stuff. Hey Alright, you're you're fine. You didn't die, so no complaints. Sire, we have uncovered a cache of resources. Nice. Sire, we have uncovered a cache of food. That's pretty good. Alright. Let's get you back home, on your buddy. Feet, boys. All we need. Is anyone actually working this? Yes, they're they are waiting for apples to grow. Oh, the heat here is overwhelming. It almost makes me miss the grey clouds and rain of England. Sire, we have uncovered a cache of food. Sire, we have uncovered a cache of resources. They're finding a lot of stuff out there, man. All right. Looks like there's some ruins nearby. Oh, here we go. Yep. All right, all right. Get rid of that. Hey ho. It's in my way. It's a and it needs to go. Also, we're starting to get our apples now. We're almost done with the wood. I think we're doing pretty nice here. Growing, sire. I could just buy apples. Not too many, though. They're quite expensive. Alright, how you doing? Eight apples picked. Yeah, we're gonna have to figure out some way to speed that up. We got one wood camp. They're not exactly removing trees. Which is kind of a bummer. I could put this one there, but I'm assuming if you put them too close to each other, they sort of stop working properly. Alright, let's put that there. We have some room for it, so why not? It is going to take some wood, I think. Yep, 20 wood. But at least we're going to get to the, um, the 100 apples a little bit quicker, which is good. What are you doing, buddy? Hugend Frankly. There's the jesters entertaining people. Keep your helmet All right, on, get rid of the squirt. ruins. Ah! We're going to have to get rid of those. And then uh, that's pretty much it. Where's the other soldier, by the way? Did I just leave him out of here? Hey -ho. Oh, he's hiding behind the tree. All right, bud. We're going. Let's go grab that. Wait, did you not Ooh, grab this oh, yet? Come on. That's all the ruins cleared, my lord. Here we go. We're going. Ruins have been cleared. Right I guess we're kind of out of a job now. Ruben we just have to again. wait until they grab all the apples and the wood and stuff. With a few more hands, we could do this much faster. Such a shame we lost so many to the plague on the journey over. Oh, a command. There we go. We still have a boat, but I guess that's not... We could break it down into wood, into wood and just get there real quick. But I have a feeling so, that... We have uncovered a cache of food. Oh, well, that's good. All right. What is the jester doing there? Anthony P. Bucket. That's gross. Apple orange is still waiting for stuff to grow. He's picked 40 apples already. Yeah, we're going to get there real quick. I have a good feeling about this. All right, so... Nothing else I can make. I'm mostly just waiting right now. Which is kind of a bummer. All right. Can we just, uh, is there a way to speed up the game? There's gotta be some way to do that. Nope, that's not what I'm looking for. Look at all these people, they don't have a job. Alright. Just, just get the wood, get the apples. I have some gold, I could just buy a couple of them. growing, sire. not working is it yeah stop eating that all right you guys you can't eat that anymore it's off limits now stockpile we got 141 wood so we're almost there text report turn all of your buildings off that's probably not a good idea though if you're trying to actually get stuff done Come on, apples. You're taking forever. I wonder if there's like a way to do this quicker. 64 apples picked already. Open the menu. Alright, pretty sure there's no speed up option in there. Usually with strategy games like this, there's some way we to speed up the, the game. We Alright, we're good on wood. All we need is the apples and we're done. 
How many of you picked? Eight. 64. I'm still waiting for this stuff to grow. Functioning, my lord. That's good. Apple orchard, a granary. 71 apples. Got a hut. Six people living in the hut. It's kind of sad. Well, all we have is six people. That's not too many. Is that me? Look at that. That's gotta be me. I'm the winner. Alright. We should just cut the rations. Like, completely. Nobody eats until we have our apples. And I really don't want to be making another apple orchard. Because I feel like there might be a little too many apples then. Come on. 87, almost done. So I guess I'm literally playing the waiting game right now. I'm assuming the, the game is actually about like the skirmishes and stuff like that. Not really about the, uh, the learning stuff. We are victorious. There we go. My artisans have wrote a wondrous astrolabe of the five celestial bodies. Uh, I don't know what that means, but thank you. Maybe destroy two buildings, grab some old gold, blah blah blah. All right, so that is the first part of the first learning campaign. And we're just going to be making our way through at least the first one, maybe part of the second one. I'll, I'll see about that. So, uh, again, let me know what you think about the game. I So far, it's actually pretty interesting. I think it could be a lot of fun once I get through the campaigns and actually start playing the game. Uh, like in skirmishes and stuff like that. But, uh, yeah, let me know what you think. And, uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. So, uh, have a good day, and I'll talk to you later.